All right, hello everyone. So welcome to our unboxing of our first comic. Woohoo! Yay! Woo. Only took us 20 years to put together. <laughs> I'm gonna be sharing that story here in a little bit, but so just to explain our setup here, so my wife and I have a newborn, so we're still pretty much practicing quarantine. So that's why Roy and I had to do this. We had to kind of cheat with this unboxing a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So Roy's in my bunker. No, he's actually, he's actually <laughs> in my basement. Hell. Yeah. <laughs> Joe got actually... a chain to a table. <laughs> he's actually in my garage, and I'm just hanging out in the kitchen with my one copy that he allotted to me. So. Uh... <laughs> All you get, Joe, catch your payment. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be interesting to hold this so that way it stays. But you know, first off, just thank you to everybody who supported. You know. Thank you. Um, you know, this is something we've been wanting to do for a long time. And, you know, we we only wanted to do as many physical copies as people ordered. We didn't want to overdo it because, unfortunately, we can't be going to conventions right now and getting tables and doing the traditional stuff that we would have been doing. Um, but thankfully, that's why we had the digital option. So thank you to those of you who did buy the, the book digitally, uh, which, by the way, it's still available. If you missed it, only yeah. 99 cents. <laughs> yeah. Plug it, Joe. Plug it. That's right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's not to say that this will never be printed again. But, you know, that just that time will tell. So, but I mean, it's it's just awesome to hold it, you know, and to, you know, to finally just put it together. I mean, um, let's see. Think backwards, Joe. But uh, <laughs> this is my copy, by the way. So don't feel like I'm messing up. Anybody oh, stop I, <laughs> I know, right? I should have worn gloves. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and, you know, thank you to Comics Wellspring for helping us put this together. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They they have awesome customer service. They even helped Roy make sure that the, the pages were lined up correctly. Oh, yeah. They did um, a fantastic job. These look so good. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, Roy uh, definitely, you know, he, he, he was very conscious about making sure that the colors were bright and vivid so that way when they print on paper, you know, of course, everything prints darker on paper. So, and, um, oh, that, by the way, that's the realization of that page. Those who got the digital copy probably didn't understand the, the formation of the boxes. Oh. <laughs> it's like I had to explain it just to Roy and Sarah, like they form a B. <laughs> Form I have to testify it, Joe. It's been printed. <laughs> no, it's on. It's recorded now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Refer Forever. to this as your, as your YouTube guide to how to read this book. Yeah. Especially page, was it five and six or four and five? I think it was five and six. There you go. This one is my personal favorite. The one, the one of Joe here in the in the masked man costume. I just love the way this looks. I think the the colors came out really good on this one. And yeah. Yeah, I remember when you great. first. What? The pages look great. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. No, I was just going to say, yeah, we probably can't talk over each other anyway because we don't have mics. So, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, but, you know, for us, like I said, this started back in college for us. So to see these characters on the page like this, especially after so many years, it's like seeing old friends again was the, the comment I made to Roy. Yeah. You know, because we've been working on this for so long. It's a labor of love. It is. Yeah. As our little message on the back here says, and once again, you know, Comics Wellspring, they're where it's at. Yeah. They, oh, shout out! Shout out to our friend Chuck Pino. He's the one that uh, told us about it. So, but thank you, Chuck, because they, they definitely were worth it. So. Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate all your help, man. Yeah, yeah, it's been awesome to help us with this. I mean, Chuck's a local um, uh, comic editor and creator and writer, and he does it all. So. Um, I'll probably post to, to his channel at the bottom, uh, but it's not safe for work, this FYI. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, while Roy's doing his part, because I'm going to, you know, come after him and, and uh, after he's done and, and sign my part, um, I always, you know, when, when we were starting this, it, it actually had a totally different name. Um, some of y'all might have seen, if you look back on the Facebook page of How to Hunt a Hero, you'll 
you'll find the old uh, old name and old logo. Uh, it was originally called uh, Average Joe, a Casual Hero. And it had the same cast of characters that you see there on that page I showed, um, which is Joe and his best friends, Jerry and Pete, his girlfriend, Val. Uh, you know, all the characters stayed the same. They, they were the characters that were there from the beginning. As, as I'm talking here, I don't know exactly what I still have saved because we literally, Roy and I literally had, had this stuff saved on old floppy disks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that. I yeah I'll see. I'll see if I can put up a picture of that. Uh, but that's how long we've been working on this. <laughs> this technology has surpassed us. We're not, but it we're actually not worked in our just, favor. Yeah, but, oh, we just leveled up, Joe. That's right. <laughs> technology surpassed us because I know <laughs> digital comics didn't exist. Oh, yeah. So we wouldn't have had that option. Yeah. This actually started as a idea as a webcomic um, because DC had a, a webcomic of uh, service at the time called Zuda, I think it was called. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. that's why we formatted it that way, kind of like the old school uh, Sunday newspaper style. Um, I don't know if you have any of those that I'll show here, but um, but yeah, so, you know, I remember we came up with this literally the night before September 11th. And the only reason I remember that is because we stayed up late talking about it and designing the characters. And then I actually slept through my first class the next day because we stayed up so late. And then I remember my grandmother calling me, asking if I was okay. And I was like, why? And like, that's when I turned on the TV and was like, oh my God, you know? Yeah. So kind of a bittersweet memory of the, you know, genesis of this. But, yeah. you know, well, after that. Good thing you remember that, Joe, because I have no recollection of any of that existence since the last time. <laughs> there you go, guys. Yeah, well. Yeah, you know, having Roy as a friend is like the movie Fifty First Dates for me. It's just like he's my Drew Barrymore. I'm just like Roy. Yeah, here's the videotape. Watch it. We, we are still friends. We met in college. <laughs> <laughs> like it goes through the whole thing. <laughs> You're like I remember you at all, Joe. <laughs> I know, right? That that again, how old it is, right? I started showing you a VHS tape. Now I had to oh, now man. DVD, then Blu-ray. I'll just keep upgrading you. Now it's streaming. Where I'll just stream here every morning. We're in the Matrix, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, the real reason Joe slept in late because he was partying all night. He's, 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 <laughs> yeah, like nerds party, coming yeah. up with comic book ideas Joe all night. Mr. was Mr. Party in college. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was nice, Joe. Yeah, but, but you know, the, the original idea, or, well, you know what? I'll let you share it because it, it was actually your idea first. Oh, um, please, by all means, go ahead and share it because I, honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> surprise surprise <laughs> if i remember you were just like you know what if like um what if you had powers and and you know the kind of old what would you do with them basically right yeah and then what um and you were like what what do you think joe looks like and you had me actually sketch out what i thought he looked like and then you just basically took the sketch and made it pretty. So, uh, <laughs> which is what we've done for a long time. <laughs> well, speaking of, I, I did have a friend of mine, shout out to Stouffer in California, um, asked about Joe, like, who is Joe? Who is Joe based on? And uh, you want to share who Joe is based on? Well, he's kind of an amalgamation of us, isn't he? Because <laughs> he's yeah, not yeah. really me. He's not really you. At least that's what my answer was, because I couldn't remember. So I just said that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, he is. He uh, Joe is 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 basically yeah, an amalgamation of kind of our life experiences a little bit. Not that we have superpowers, but um, <laughs> you know, just the experience, the life experiences, and um, just funny stories. Uh, gosh, for years, yeah. And he just mm -hmm. kind of came there. As far as Inside his look, joke. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's more. I don't know. I don't really know where the inspiration came for the look. It just hit me, and it just felt right, and. Uh, he was just really easy to draw over and over again, kind of like he was uh, meant to look that way the whole time. So, I mean, I know he's, he's changed a little bit, you know, with the times, um, but I tried to give him a very, I don't want to say generic, but at least something that would last over the years. So, you know, jeans and a t-shirt never gets old. So, yeah. So. Yeah. And that, that was the idea too, is that, you know, it, it was hard to make the story timeless. You know, people always talk about making stories timeless, but it's kind of hard unless you said it like in a, fantasy world or something because <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's the technology that drags you down it's like you know in in the original script when i was rereading them i, I mentioned dsl 
connection for their internet. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I'm pretty sure, of course, they had cell phones, but it probably would have been flip phones back then, you know. <laughs> we were all. Oh, it does. It does. Because remember, there's the character Oscar, and he has a flip phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're which we haven't even shown him yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. yeah exactly. Wow, we got a lot of cover. So, guys, this is just a preview issue, just in case we haven't hammered it in enough. This is simply a preview issue of what we've been working on. So this just gives you a little glimpse into what this world is going to be. And um, there's so much more content, so much more story. This just gives you the, I mean, a fraction, a tip, a teeny tiny tip of the iceberg of what our story is. So um, you can you can imagine how much uh, time we've had to uh, really um, form this idea and um, just come to this great adventure honestly it's a lot of fun it's light uh we try and luckily joe is really good about kind of keeping me i, I tend to to skew to the dark side a little bit so joe's been really good about pulling me back like whoa 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 this is a, this is kind of a, a comedy we want to keep this light and airy and fun i'm like oh that's right that's right okay i have joe like doing all crazy stuff and he's like no let's just bring it back in i'm like oh that's right that's right <laughs> uh, i want to you know and we do tackle i mean a couple things um nothing too heavy um but Again, this is just based on like life experiences and stuff. I mean, it could be everything from like uh, breakups, but you're a superhero. It, uh, it can be relationships. It's it's about friendships. It's about trust and uh, loyalty and um, all those things. So it's a lot of positive stuff. The question I get a lot with these is: Is this going to be something that uh, maybe younger readers can read? Um, I think we kind of like, what are we settled on, Joe, uh, as far as age? What's a good age? I mean, teenagers for sure. Yeah. You know, that's mainly because we're dealing with a college setting, you know, yeah. and it's like, unfortunately, college is not, you know, for kids. So, yeah. and imagine, <laughs> again, this is a bunch, this is drawn by a bunch of nerds. We, we wrote this as, as we are. So, you know, it's not like we, you know, nothing's really wrong with it, but we didn't, you know, we didn't party heavily or anything like that. So, there's nothing in the book that, you know, there, there's no, uh, nudity or, or or even heavy language honestly so you know it's it's a lighter book uh it's still fun i think it's still relevant uh even today you know like joe was saying we're just trying to keep it um what's the word uh contemporary i guess um and still kind of tell our story and our experiences and just kind of evolve the story as time progresses i guess yeah because this has been a lot of different things like i said it started off as a web comic you know we were going to which of course we never pub published it and never <laughs> you had, we have some strips that never showed the light of day. We'll probably release those at some point in the future, just so you can see what yeah. they were like. Um, I actually got on a kick one year after uh, watching the Futurama DVD extra that showed how to follow a uh, script, like a, uh, an animated script. And so I have nine episodes oh, that's right. of an animated series written for this in that style. And uh, I remember even reaching out, uh, you guys probably, if you follow pop culture, you've seen a lot of hype around uh, the Castlevania series on Netflix. And now they're gonna do, you know, Masters of the Universe, that's Powerhouse Animation Studios in Austin. And I remember even reaching out to them, God, over 10 years ago now, from maybe 15, <laughs> you know, at the time. And back then, I think their biggest claim to fame was uh, one of the Kevin Smith episodes for his clerks cartoon yeah yeah <laughs> you know when you but the, um, the script for those that's what i thought of like it reminded me of it so much uh, i remember when you showed me that that was pretty cool yeah so i mean those exist though they, if, you know if if we ever get the chance to make an animated those will have to be rewritten at this point because they're heavily dated i could tell when i went back and reread them again <laughs> mainly the technology some of the terminology yeah but but it's it's fun to see it evolve. But you know that was the thing too is that because it started off the whole you know Joe's discovering his powers and his friends are helping him. You know Jerry's the one who is all about. It. He's like yes, I finally get to be a sidekick. You know, and Pete is like no, we don't need to you know encourage this. <laughs> so yeah. the bunch of reason, and that's what it was for the longest time. But fast forward twenty years and we've had you know, all the Marvel movies, we've had, you know, all the DC movies and, and all the other comic companies that have put out movies. And the whole origin story has been played out for the general public, because for us comic fans, that, that origin story has been played out for years. And, yeah. you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but we well, were I mean, like, go ahead. no, I'm just gonna say, that's when we were like, well, maybe we should 
maybe we should change the perspective so that way people don't just look at it and be like, ah, it's just another, it's just another hero origin, you know, who cares? Right. You know, it's, it's oversaturated at this point. So, you know, let's talk about Ava for a second. So Ava, uh, she wasn't in the original cast. Um, if you remember, when we were coming up with the with the web comic, she was she was actually a character called Courtney. Yeah. And you had designed her as just a like a, a, a one and done character. She was going to be a rival for Val during like this storyline in the web comic that was going to be kind of like a, a riff on on the Star Wars, you know, uh, episodes one through six at the time. Ooh, they get and fancy you, kind of part of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, and she was just going to be a foil, you know, mainly for Val, and then she was going to be done. And I remember, again, if I have her design, it'd be great to see, because I love, again, the, the evolution of her. She, because we were always wanting her to kind of emulate Darth Vader, mm -hmm. your original design, she had a, a CD player hanging around her neck <laughs> to, <laughs> to make you think... Portable CD players. I yeah, to make, this, you think this, about, <laughs> to make you think about the... Uh, you know the device that's on Vader's chest. Yeah. And so that was her origin. And then I don't even remember how it came about. Where you brought up the idea of the cryptids and her, or what brought that about? I can't. Even, that's one thing I can't remember. I don't remember when the cryptids came into it. I don't remember specifically, but I've always had. Um, if any, anyone that knows me uh, knows I'm kind of crazy about supernatural stuff and and. Bigfoot and you know any cryptids basically any kind of like creature of mystery you know has always fascinated me. Um, I love watching stuff like Top Five and uh, you know all these unexplained. I love I grew up with unsolved mysteries and I I really just something just drew me into those um, those stories with you know where it was like a Bigfoot story you know the unexplained were my favorite uh, episodes and or little segments and so you know it just felt like something I wanted to do something that. I would really just be passionate about and something I really interested in. I love hearing stories from people, uh, ghost stories or little stories like that from my friends. And so it just, um, I guess kind of just subconsciously trickled in. And um, I you know you have a better memory than I do, Joe, but I, I don't remember <laughs> how exactly, but I know that when it did, it just felt like lightning. And I was like, Oh, this is something I, they, what do they say? Uh, write what you know, or draw what you know, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so that was something I could really get behind. And it just really, for me, it elevated the story. I was like, okay, this would be cool because, you know, here we have Joe, who, by the way, in this world is the world's first superhero, you know, so we're kind of doing that. Um, we, but we wanted to put a spin on it. Like, okay, well, fine. You have a superhero, a superhero needs somebody he needs to fight. And, you know, it wasn't, I, I didn't want to be like, I know I didn't want it to be a cruel thing or he's just going around beating up Bigfoot. Um, so we really, uh, Joe, through, I don't know where he gets the inspiration or how he comes up with the stories on and how he makes things connect, how his brain works. But he he made this, you, you made this thing like uh, you connected the dots, basically. Like, here, Joe, I'm going to throw, here's this, here's this. Now do something with it, Joe. But, you know, I had a general <laughs> idea. And I know I, 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 I'm infamous, I think, with Joe for just middle of the night, two in the morning. Joe, I have an idea. Da, 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 da. Remember, I told you this because I'm gonna forget tomorrow. So you got it. You know, it's there. It's it's in our thing. You know, we we've got the idea down. Um, but I mean, I used to do that with like notes. I would just write it. Like I'd be in school or at work or something, and I would just oh, jot down the idea. So yeah, I mean, it it, it just kind of formed from my love of uh of just those crazy like stories and and i i believe in bigfoot and santa claus and all that i'm a kid at heart so it was really easy for me to kind of to work that in uh into the story so uh or as, as far as wanting to get it into the story and then joe just used his magic and ah, my sticker flew away um, <laughs> um yeah and joe for joe just to kind of like figure out how to make it work and, and really put things together i would not be able to let me just say this i would not be able to do this without joe um, and you know, of course, Comic Cool Spring and everybody else shout out, but but uh, Joe really helped uh, form this idea and and kind of cemented and, and just kind of molded it, you know, like like clay. And so you know, it's it's a huge advantage uh, to to have you in my corner, and then also to be able to to publish this uh, under Child's Play Comics. So it's it's really a passion project, a dream come true. Uh, so thank you, Joe. We'll put that out there right now, and uh, yeah. So. Well, same here. Obviously, it would look like stick figures if I was drawing it. So, <laughs> Comics Wellspring would have been like, "What is this? Rejected? We've never rejected a project in our life." But give yourself too much credit, Joe. I, I think that's an insult to, to comic stick figures. 
<laughs> but uh, but yeah, it, it is funny how yeah, most of the time I, I I commit to memory a lot of this stuff, but I don't remember how the how the cryptids thing started. I think we just like you said, you brought it. I I feel like you just brought it up to me one day. And you're like, hey, what about this? And yeah, I just I just was like, okay, so you know, it's that old. Well, let's just make her rich so that way we don't have to worry about how does she hunt these things. She has money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Throw, throw money at it. That's our solution. Yeah. Got a problem? You know, so it. it's just, it's one of those things. It's like, yeah, the whole Batman, Iron Man thing, you know, what's your superpower? I'm rich, you know. Yeah. But, and, and, and it allowed us to play with so many, you know, it, it opened up that toy box for Roy, especially, you know, to just go in there and design all the cryptids. And, and, you know, like he said, it's it's funny you brought that up that yeah it's not a cruel thing be, for us to just like have Joe beating up Bigfoot it's like you know they're being controlled by Ava you know and um, and so yeah that was the whole thing of of switching the the point of view to her side of it and why she did it you know and you know if you read the preview you see her reasons why and that was the I think that was the main thing is once we switched the point of view. Uh, a lot of the things on Joe's side, I'm trying to like not give too much away if people haven't read the preview issue. Spoiler but, Joe. Yeah, but the point is, is that there was a lot of aspects on Joe's side that we just kept writing and we're like, why does this happen? And we're like, I don't know, we'll figure it out later, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but there really was an aspect of that, you know, uh, until we changed it to her point of view and we're like, oh, this is why, this is why that happens. This is why she did it, you know? Yeah. So it makes sense when you read the preview issue. Well, I mean, uh, the, the funny thing, speaking of all that, the funny thing, like a, another great thing to talk about, I mentioned maybe is the origin. We needed a, a, a superpower. So if you want to maybe talk about our original idea for how he gained his powers, because I don't think we do that in the book. Do you remember? Oh, I I just made, and I, I can share it one day, but it's like, it's called like the ridiculously outlandish, you know, origin of average Joe or something like that. And I literally just took all the different superhero origins and crammed them into one thing. I, I don't want to, I don't want to get too much in that because I, I feel like that's going to be like, you kind of, that's one of those things you kind of have to see what I'm talking about. Cause if I mention the details, you're going to be like, what the, what the, what, you know? And I'd be like, look, look, just, just, just look at this, look at this original script and you'll understand. So what you're saying, Joe, is they need to get the future issues that we're putting out. To learn exactly, yeah. Wow. That's what you get. Yeah. a little teaser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and obviously we plan to do you know a full four issue series, you know, mini series next year, which will just be like the first adventure of these characters. And this, oh, because I know some people ask me, this is an original story in this preview issue, so this is not going to be like reprinted or recreated in the mini series. You know, hopefully, if we ever get to put this in a, in a graphic novel collection, this will be part of it. Like, you would read this first, and then it, it reads into the actual story. So, I, I made sure to do it that way because, you know, I've seen both types of preview issues as a comic fan the type that literally just pulls pages from the upcoming issue and just puts them in a smaller book, <laughs> oh. you know. But then I've also seen the one like this one where it's an original story that kind of sets up the world. And I prefer that because it's, you know, to me, to me, it just makes it more original and special, and a reason to actually have the preview issue. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't, I don't know if anything else you want to go. Right? I didn't want to make this too long because I want people to actually watch it. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're humble. We're humble. So, hey, sometimes guys. people, sometimes people look at the link. They're like, nope, not watching that. So, <laughs> uh, we should put something at the end of this. Like, if you watch, if you made it this far, blah, 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 you, get you get a free copy of this. You yeah, sign, you get a signed uh, selfie of Joe and me. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what people want. <laughs> Well, anyway, yeah, I, I guess I guess we'll just wrap it up there. You know, there's there's obviously plenty more stories to tell, but we could do that at a later date, especially when we, uh, yeah, when we um, do the the four issue mini series. Uh, thanks again to Comics Wellspring for help helping us put this together. It's a beautiful book. Uh, so if you absolutely. if you missed out on this, you know, we may have some extras. I'll post about it if we do. If if not, you know, maybe in the future. If we get enough interest, we'll do another another print run. So yeah, and real but, quick, yeah. I just wanna I just wanna say again, thank you guys to all of y'all that ordered these. Um, 
bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Uh, Joe and I worked really hard on this. We poured our years and years of uh, experiences into this. Uh, but seriously, no, but seriously I, yeah. I really appreciate it. It's it's very difficult to um, to get something off the ground and to, to get your dream realized. So, um, you know, we said uh, in the very beginning, we, we just want to get something out there. You know, and I'm really, I'm really happy that we have, I'm holding, I am holding our dream right now. This is mm -hmm. our dream to get something out. So this, guys, means the world to us. Um, even if we never get anything again, we've got this and, and we're super proud of it. And we can't wait uh, to hopefully, uh, and we are already working on the uh, the actual book. This is just the preview, but we are already working on it. We have a ton of stuff, uh, you know, in the pipeline ready to go. So um, again, just thank you guys. Really appreciate your support. Um, get the word out if you uh, if you get it, you like it. Tell your friends about it. Um, you know, maybe they can order a digital copy. Like Joe said, there's all they're always available uh, at the website. I'm assuming you're gonna put that in the link here somewhere. Yeah, uh, it's how to hunt a hero .com. Yeah, so you can go there and get the digital copy. Again, we might have some uh, extra issues, so if we do, uh, maybe reach out to us and maybe we can get you a copy. Um, but again, thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Joe, uh, for uh, just oh, all the hard work. And then also thank you, Comics Well Spring, uh, for the amazing books. Thank you, Chuck, for all the help along the way. And then, of course, my family and friends and anyone else um, that I probably didn't uh, thank uh, for all the support and just motivation and everything, inspiration, all my friends, to Jerry, to Pete, uh, you know, all those people that helped uh, make this possible. Uh, thank you. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.